Steve, unlucky not to get a point today, weren't we? Uh, yes and no. Um, I felt last 20 minutes they threw everything at us. Um, they tried to contend with it. Uh, they're up there because they're a good side. Um, and at the end of it, yeah, like I said to Matt there, Jim, it's not the first time, sorry, it won't be the last time this season where we concede in the 90th minute, as we'll do to other teams. So it's a bit of pill to swallow when it happens. Um, but I felt if we'd got a one all um, on reflection of possession, they would have probably said they deserved it, but I thought both goalkeepers worked exactly the same, you know, so they didn't really hurt Johnny um, in terms of shots before they scored. And likewise with us, with, with Tom, their goalkeeper, so it was an even game, but they, they got their, their bit of luck with a great bit of skill by their winger to get another penalty. Now obviously, a few incidents to uh, to discuss. The, f the first penalty, which was awarded to Hendon, which they eventually missed, yep. Uh, what did you make of the build-up to that? There was an um, incident with Liam. Yeah, it, listen, it was a penalty. I won't take that away. It was Cal Callum caught the fella. Um, but Sonny Miles, five minutes before, tried to clear a ball and their centre forward went through him. Um, not a lot of contact, but enough to give ref give a free kick. Liam Smith was exactly the same, yet he played on. Um, and at the end of it, they got the penalty. But it was a stonewall penalty, so I've got no complaints about that. What I've got a complaint about is, is before that, when um, Liam cleared the ball uh, and the fella come through him, that's why Liam's had to come off, whereas they believe that he was just laying on the floor, he's had to come off because his ankle swollen at twice the size of a normal one. And the, <coughs> excuse me, the second penalty, uh, obviously a little bit different perhaps in the way that was given, any, yeah, any thoughts on that? I was too far away, but the way he was twisting and turning and got inside and as you want any striker or any forward, if, if you're the other side of the defender and there's a touch and you go down, then 99 times out of 100 you're going to get a penalty. So. I can't, I can't say whether it was or it weren't. You know, the boy's done very well. We had him once, and then he's got up, wriggled away again, and the refs give it, so you've got to take it on the chin, Jim. First half, perhaps, were we a little a little lacklustre, maybe? Second half, I thought we played a lot better. No, like I said to you, I thought both teams were the same. I don't think they come out of any energy. I don't think we had loads of energy, but at the end of the day, coming up that slope was a hard, hard task, and um, we decided to come up at first half. And to go in at nil nil, or they missed a penalty. Um, I don't really think they had any clear cut chances, uh, cut the side nettings, but no real clear clear cut chances where Johnny's had to make a save. So um, their video highlights might make <laughs> make them be a liar, but that's what I saw. So going up the hill at nil nil, coming in, you're quite happy with that. And uh, but second half, we really took the game to them at times. Yeah, at times, you know, like I said, they're a good side. They're, they're full of confidence. I know they've lost the last two games, but. They haven't been beaten here. They haven't scored, uh, conceded a goal here. So for us to take the lead, you know that that was um, that was something that hasn't happened here this season. Um, and then unfortunately they got back into it too soon. You know we've cleared, cleared a set piece and we just haven't picked up players on the second phase and, and bloke put a great header in. So it's football. You know what I mean, Jim? I'm um, pleased with the endeavour and effort. I felt that second half we didn't. Um, take control of the ball enough, which allowed them to just come up, come at us again. Um, but in general, I, th I thought we'd done all right, mate. I think it was Sonny's 300th appearance. Um, shame he wasn't on the winning side, obviously. Disappointing for him. I thought he had a great game, by the way, despite the fact he may have given the p a penalty away. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, great great club man, yeah. Son Sonny's done very well, you know. First time he was here, and even since I've come, and he's come back. But I'll look at it, I think he's got a Got an 18 year old alongside him that is marshalling through the game as well as doing his own game. And uh, I thought he's, he's, he's a credit to the club, he's a credit to his family, and um, long may continue with us. Definitely. Uh, tell us a little, little bit about Javier Vidal. Yeah, um, brought him in um, to try and score goals. You know, he's, he was at Dulwich when he was 18, he was a very bright prospect, scoring goals from midfield. Um, I'm a bit disillusioned with it after he, he got re released from Welling or told he wasn't good, not wanted at Welling, should I say. Um, and then he's floated back to Nurstrom and Harlow. So I want to get him back to where he was at. You know, he, he hasn't played many games this year, as it showed when he came on, lacking a bit of fitness. But that'll come through games. But if we can get him back to where he was when he was 18, 19, you know, you've got a player on hands. Definitely. And uh, we've got a tough match on Tuesday. Yeah. Leaston. We, we, we know that'll be tough, Jim, but they're a good footballing listen, side. Leaston are good. They're, they're all tough games. Um, yeah. Today we was expecting no different. Um, and like I say, I can, certain decisions in that game, you can moan about the referee and that, but I'll get reported for what I said afterwards. Um, but 
you can't talk to these people no more. You can't talk to them no more. They don't want to talk to you. That's the thing. So you get irate and, and then you have a go at them and that. But if he reports me, he reports me. I've got no problem with that. You know, I stand on my own two feet. Um, what makes you laugh is, is the assistant's the one that's telling you to disappear rather than the referee. So I don't know where he gets the grounds to do that. But let's get back to the game. Yep. Very pleased with the boys' application. Result, fans will go away from here and, and think it's another defeat. Listen, Hendon lost five games. They just haven't drawn any. You know, They've lost as many games as us. So it don't matter at this point of the season because, like I said, 20 games in, I'll look at the league table. I'll know where we have to be, whether we need to bring more players in or get rid of players. Um, but at the moment, the boys are giving me everything. We've got players to come back. Bev, George Bev and Tommy Parkinson I'm looking at. And I'm looking at him coming back because he can give us a right good push towards the end of the season. So, um, at the minute, we're, do, we're doing all right, apart from that result today. Um, uh, and you mentioned George. Where, yeah. where, where is he with his injury? Uh, we're going to get him to get a scan, just to make sure that everything's all right, rather than him um, do any major damage to it. Um, and we can see the actual damage that is in there. Um, you can tell us how painful it is, but let's, let's get it right. Let's have a look at the actual facts of it. And then we make decisions after that. And good, um, and good to see Chris Kinnear back on the pitch and scoring. Again, Chris, Chris is a good player. Yeah, that's a great goal he scored. I don't think really he scored many like that, but it's a great finish. Um, and he's another one that comes back into the squad and, and, and helps us, you know, with the experience. But so I've got to give credit to this, this 17-year-old and 18-year-old in defence that have played the last half a dozen games and been outstanding, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I'm pleased. People, people might not be pleased. I'm pleased. We're going in the right direction. Today was a kick in the nuts, um, but we'll move on at least and, and give a good account of ourselves again. Thanks very much, Steve, and bad luck today.